Tyson, congratulations, man. Thank you. Quite quite the win, man. Coming on the road, uh, UNLV, Las Vegas, you know, tough crowd. Uh, you guys were down at the half, man, and then you started the second half, I think, 14-3 to three run and kind of just continued it from there. I mean, what, what changed at halftime? I think we just stepped up our physicality and our uh, defensive pressure. We let them get too many easy buckets. Like, you look at the stats, I think they had one three in the first half, but they probably had like five or six layups that we really could have taken away. So, Stamped up the defensive pressure, and it really paid off on the offensive end. 14 threes for this team tonight, man. I mean, I know you guys knew you were a better shooting team than maybe we've seen at times this season, but to come on the road and hit 14 threes, how big is that? It's huge. It's a, it's a definite help to play on the road because sometimes offense doesn't travel, but tonight it did, and uh, we got the win because of it. How about uh, the second half of a couple guys? I guess we'll start with Jace. I mean, the second half, they, they left him open. He hit a couple of huge threes for you guys, and uh, he finished with uh, – where were we at here? Jace Whiting had uh, 10 points, and I think all 10 were in the second half. I mean, uh, he was huge for you guys. He's, he's huge, and, uh, you know, props to him for putting in all the work, and it, it's showing out in the court, and he's been a, a huge key for us in this in this win streak. And I don't know, maybe, I mean, you've been playing basketball a long time, but I'm not sure I've ever seen back-to-back, you know, four-point play opportunities when Chibuzo got uh, fouled twice in a row. Uh, I think the second time he missed the free throw, but I mean, uh, I think he hit three or four threes in the second half. He was four of six for the game. He finished with 17 points. Uh, in the second half, uh, how big was Buzo? He was huge. You know, I, I've never seen two four-point plays on back-to-back possessions, but when he shoots the rock well, we normally play well, and so we've got to keep getting him good looks, and he's going to keep knocking them down. What was the mindset coming down here? I mean, obviously, uh, you know, Las Vegas is the start of, you know, three and four on the road for this team. I know you guys are just trying to stay laser-focused on on UNLV, but you got Wyoming, you got, you know, Nevada, New Mexico next week. I mean, this is a big stretch for you guys to get the first one. What was kind of the, the mindset coming down here, and how feel how nice does it feel to get this first one, uh, you know, under your belt? It feels nice to get the first one out of our belt, and, you know, we just got to take it one game at a time, but to come down here and get a win like that, we really had to focus in and try to, you know, carry over that defensive pressure that we had against Utah State. What about for you, man? 17, 12, and 6, and uh, the great Nate Lowry tells us first time in over a decade that a Boise State player has had uh, 17, 12, and 6 as a stat line. Uh, you had uh, six assists as well. I mean, were anything special for you tonight? Were you trying to assert yourself, or, or was it just kind of the game kind of just came to you? The game just kind of came to me, and, you know, I, I you know, picked my spots where I need to be aggressive, and it paid off for us in the end. I mean, if you, this team, I mean, like I said, it, it's, it was the first half. It was back and forth. You're down two. Second half, I mean, you guys take control of the game. I mean, I know it's just one game. But, I mean, now you guys look look up. You're, you know, you're three and one in league play. All of a sudden, you're 13 and four, whatever it is. I mean, I know we talked the other night. But after that Nevada game, you had lost two in a row. And there was just a, a little, you know, a little uneasiness, I guess, with some of the fans, whatever. What, you know, but now you've won three in a row. What's kind of the uh, the feeling amongst you guys in the locker room right now about where this team's at? We're really gelling as a team, and I think that's showing out on the court. And we just got to continue to you know play together, play as a group, and we're going to win a lot of games because of it. This UNLV team, I mean, what was kind of the, the going in? What was kind of the the thing you guys were trying to do to take away from them? And, and why were you guys able to have so much success? You know, to extend the lead, especially in the second half. I think we just had to make them take tough shots. You know, they they were going to take tough shots, and we just had to make them tough with, with a stick hand and. Couldn't give him really any open looks. I mean, we had a couple. I, I know I had one. I left Rodriguez open for a three. And, you know, if we can't give him open ones like that. So we had to buckle down and make him take tough shots. And that's what we did. Now, I saw you talking to Matt Bowser after the game. We had our contest winner here as well. I mean, uh, you had a nice little crew of Boise State fans behind the bench there. Was it nice to uh, to, to send Matt Bowser and company home with a win, too? Oh, absolutely. It's always great <laughs> to get a win and to, to see Bowser out there celebrating. And, you know, it's always great. <laughs> Tyson, appreciate it, man. Congrats on the win. We'll see you back in Boise. Appreciate it.